Good morning and welcome to the Robin's Nest Readers. Today we're going to read a Michael Blue book. We're going to read a book about a mouse. What do you think? This book is titled, If I Were a Mouse, I'd Live in This House. It was written and illustrated by Annette Vick Asbill. Let's see what happens. If I were a mouse, I'd live in this house. The bread box would be my lunch box, and sometimes I'd eat too much. An ottoman would be my trampoline. I'd safely watch the hawk from inside the house. And I'd play dress up in my favorite clothes. <gasps> Look at that hat. I'd pledge my allegiance to the flag every day. And I'd pretend to be queen of the world if I were a mouse. If I were a mouse, I'd remember to flush the toilet and I'd always wash my hands. The bathtub would be my ski slope and the soap would be my sled. I'd put buttons on my shoes and roller skate across the kitchen floor. If I were a mouse, I'd be first across the finish line. I'd go on a safari in the flower garden and I'd hunt for lions if I were a mouse. The bird bath would be my rock climbing wall. I'd email my friends on my iPhone, and I'd dance and read past dark. If I were a mouse, for fun, I'd ride on the ceiling fan, and I'd eat popcorn and watch TV in my favorite chair. I'd toast marshmallows in the fireplace. If I were a mouse, I'd live in this house and I'd paint all my favorite things. I'd sweep the dust bunnies from under the bed. I'd hang my laundry on the windowsill to dry. If I were a mouse, I'd bathe in the kitchen sink and brush my teeth at least two times a day. I'd sleep until noon if I were a mouse. I'd invite friends for dinner because friends are important. And every mouse needs a house. And every house should have a mouse. So what would you do if you were a mouse? Let me know. Let us know what you like on Robin's Nest Readers. We're going to have more stories coming your way. So read, If I Were a Mouse, I'd Live in This House. Have a great day.